you are welcome to my channel today i'll be addressing three renal causes of renal failure meaning the kidney that is not you know, working perfectly right now what could be the causes but i will be looking at causes that are occurring outside the kidney itself we will go through mechanisms that could lead to this and we have two of them is that we'll be dealing with generalized ischemia involving the renal system or a selective renal ischemia but we should remember when there is a severe ischemia then there will be acute tubular necrosis now before the kidney will get into trouble what is happening outside the kidney in itself? So, we'll start by going through volume depletion, meaning the volume of blood reaching the kidney to be filtered is down. And what could lead to that? Vomiting. You understand what I will mean? Instead of being absorbed in the circulatory system and going around, including the kidney to be filtered, and then excretion will occur is being thrown out. Diarrhea, watery diarrhea, bleeding, or hemorrhage of any sort. Diuretics use, sending out more fluid, osmotic diuretics with high glucose level, insensible losses, diaphoresis that is sweating profusely, bonds with no large percentage being exposed, cross injury, Skeletal fracture. Also, hypotension. Hypotension. Hypotension could be caused by septic shock, hypovolemic shock, hypotic shock, neurogenic or cardiogenic shock. Edematous states could be you no know, one of the causes of prerenal failure. In that case, it would be as a result of heart failure liver cirrhosis with ascites you know in the abdomen and hepaturenal failure okay lastly ischemia ischemia is a strong factor when it comes to pre-renal failure in this case could be bilateral renal artery stenosis so both kidneys are suffering they you know with inadequate supply of blood to the kidney itself and then unilateral stenosis in solitary kidney. The reason why this has been stated like this is that if there's a solitary kidney and there's no problem, that's fine. One kidney will be able to do the job, but a solitary kidney, just one kidney is available to that individual and that same kidney is now having unilateral you know, stenosis of the artery supplying it, then that's the end of the road. The kidney will be able to function well. With that, I've come to the end of causes of pre-renal failure. Thanks for listening. Remember to share this very presentation. Remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can get more like renal causes of renal failure, acute urinary retention, post you no know, renal causes of renal failure. Thanks. I appreciate it.